Playing with Power MTG. Powerful cards, powerful formats. Be sure to check out Dragon Shield for all of the best accessories to protect your decks. TCG Player for cards at great prices while supporting local game stores. And Patreon where you get awesome benefits for your direct support. When perusing the internet, we came across an interesting thread on Reddit. It spoke about something called Competitive Popper Commander. We, of course, were very interested. We reached out to the Popper EDH community and got to know more about this super interesting format. Some of the people in their community agreed to let us record one of their games, and now you will get to see how it does tonight. Competitive Popper Commander follows the same rules of General Popper Commander. You can only use cards printed at common rarity at some point in Magic's history. You must use an uncommon creature as your commander. Only two cards are currently banned as of this recording, and those are Ristic Study and Mystic Remora. For more information, we have provided a bunch of links to resources of this cool format in the description below. Our Patreon Discord webcam league is back. We are currently running our league through the month of October. The top four will all win a Necropotence, and the grand prize for the winner of the league is a Mana Crypt. If you want to play in the league, sign up to our Patreon in the description below. All tiers qualify to play in the league, so sign up today and start playing. Also, our merchandise store is back. If you want to pick up some merchandise, check out the link in the description below. Now, let's start out by showcasing our fighters this evening. First, we have Alora, piloting the partner pair of the Ghost of Ramirez de Petro and Tormod the Desecrator. This deck seeks to use and abuse the graveyard in conjunction with its commanders to build an army and win the game. Alora's opening hand contains an Island, Brainstorm, Bajuka Bog, Prohibit, Echoing Truth, Swamp, and a Frogify. Next, we have Clay, piloting Crackling Drake. This deck seeks to control the board before deploying its commander and one-shotting opponents through a Voltron attack. Clay's opening hand contains a Snow-Covered Island, Snow-Covered Mountain, Merchant Scroll, Mana Leak, Into the Royal, Forgotten Cave, and an Ash Barrens. After that we have Ryan, piloting Witherbloom Apprentice. This deck whittles away opponents' life totals while controlling the board before going for a combo finish. Ryan's opening hand contains a Command Tower, Swamp, Search for Tomorrow, Scale the Heights, Knight's Whisper, Cross and Tusker, and a Spinning Darkness. Finally, we have Ephon, piloting Tatiova, Benthic Druid. This deck seeks to use common synergies found in other Tatiova Commander decks. It looks to ramp up and draw through its commander, then deploy a game-ending combo with land-based synergies. Ephon's opening hand contains a Growth Spiral, Forest, Island, Simic Growth Chamber, Grow from the Ashes, Broken Bond, and a Compulsive Research. Without further ado, let's begin this pure pleasant presentation of Paper Popper People. Elora wins the Hot Pepper Challenge and gets to start us off. Elora draws a card for turn and plays an island. She passes. Ephon draws a card for turn and also plays an island. He passes. Clay draws and plays a Forgotten Cave, tapped. He ends his turn. Ryan draws and plays a Command Tower. He suspends Search for Tomorrow with two time counters on it. Ryan ends his turn. Elora draws and plays a Swamp. She ends her turn. Ephon draws and plays a Forest. He passes. Clay draws and plays a Snow-Covered Island. Clay gives the turn to Ryan. During his upkeep, Ryan removes a time counter from Search for Tomorrow. He draws and plays a Swamp. He casts his commander, Witherbloom Apprentice. In response, Clay casts Mana Leak, countering the spell. Finished up, Ryan passes. At the end of Ryan's turn, Elora casts Brainstorm. In response, Ephon casts Growth Spiral. He draws a card and puts a Simic Growth Chamber onto the battlefield, bouncing a forest to his hand. Then Brainstorm resolves, Elora draws three and puts two back on top. The turn then moves to Elora. Elora draws and plays a Command Tower. She casts a Charcoal Diamond into play tapped. Elora passes. Ephon draws and plays a Command Tower. He casts a Farseek. He fetches up a Mystic Sanctuary onto the battlefield tapped. Ephon ends his turn. Clay draws and plays a Snow-Covered Mountain. He casts a Letter of Acceptance. Clay gives the turn to Ryan. During his upkeep, Ryan removes the final time counter from Search from Tomorrow and casts it. He fetches up a Forest onto the battlefield. He draws and plays a Swamp. He recasts his commander, Witherbloom Apprentice. Ryan passes. Elora draws and plays an island. She casts a sleight of hand. She looks at the top two, puts one into her hand, and one onto the bottom of her library. Elora passes. Ephon draws and plays an island. He casts Grow from the Ashes, kicked. He fetches up two islands onto the battlefield. He casts Compulsive Research. He draws three cards and discards two. Ephon gives a turn to Clay. Clay draws and plays a snow-covered mountain. He casts a Merchant Scroll. He fetches up a Dizzy Spell into his hand. Clay passes. Ryan draws and casts a Knight's Whisper. Witherbloom Apprentice triggers, his opponents lose one, and he gains one. He then draws two cards and loses two life. 
He plays a Swamp for turn. He casts Scale the Heights, targeting his Witherbloom Apprentice. Apprentice triggers and drains for one. Then Ryan puts a plus one plus one counter onto Apprentice, gains two life, and draws a card. He moves to combat and attacks Ephon with Witherbloom. Ephon takes it, and Ryan passes the turn. Elora draws and plays a Bajuka Bog into play tapped. Bog triggers and exiles Ephon's graveyard. She casts her commander, Ghost of Ramirez to Petro. Elora passes. Ephon draws and starts off his turn by casting his commander, Tatiova, Benthic Druid. He plays a forest for turn. Tatiova triggers and, in response, Clay casts Scred, targeting Tatiova. In response, Ephon casts Deprive, returning Mystic Sanctuary to his hand as an additional cost. Deprive resolves and Scred is countered. With the trigger still on the stack, Clay casts Into the Royal, targeting Tatiova. Tatiova bounces, then Tatiova's trigger resolves, Ephon gains a life and draws a card. Plans disrupted, Ephon passes. Clay draws and plays an Ash Barons, Clay passes. Ryan draws and casts Grow from the Ashes, kicked. Witherbloom triggers and drains for one. Then Ryan fetches up a forest and a swamp onto the battlefield. He moves to combat and attacks Ephon with Witherbloom. Ephon takes it and in his second main phase, Ryan casts Feed the Swarm, targeting Ghost of Ramirez. Witherbloom triggers and drains for one. In response, Elora casts Prohibit, countering Feed the Swarm. All through, Ryan passes. Elora draws and moves to combat. She attacks Ryan with Ghost of Ramirez. Ryan declares no blocks, and in response, Elora cycles Lonely Sandbar, drawing a card. Then Ryan takes it, Ghost triggers, and Elora returns Lonely Sandbar to her hand. In her second main phase, she plays an island for turn. She casts Executioner's Capsule. In response, Ephon casts Arcane Denial, countering the capsule. Next, Elora casts her other commander, Tormod the Desecrator. Elora ends her turn. During Ephon's upkeep, he draws a card and Elora draws two through Arcane Denial. He draws for turn and casts High Tide. In response, Elora casts Dispel, countering High Tide. Ephon recasts his commander, Tatiova. He plays a Mystic Sanctuary for turn. Sanctuary enters untapped and triggers itself and Tatiova. High Tide goes onto the top of his library and with the Tatiova trigger on the stack, Clay casts Echoing Truth, targeting Tatiova. Tatiova bounces again, then Tatiova's trigger resolves, Ephon gains a life and draws a card. Plans disrupted again, Ephon passes. Clay draws and casts Impulse. He looks at the top four, puts one into his hand, and the rest on the bottom. Clay passes. Ryan draws and casts Foreboding Fruit with Adamant. Witherbloom triggers and drains for one. Then Ryan draws two cards, loses two life, and creates a food token. He plays a Swamp for turn. He moves to combat and attacks Ephon with Witherbloom. Ephon takes it, and Ryan passes the turn. Elora draws and starts off her turn by transmuting Dizzy Spell. She fetches up a Relic of Progenitus into her hand. She moves to combat and attacks Ryan with Ghost of Ramirez and Clay with Tormod the Desecrator. Ryan takes it, Ghost triggers, and Elora returns Dizzy Spell to her hand. In her second main phase, she casts a Felwar Stone. She casts a Relic of Progenitus. Elora passes. Ephon draws and goes for it a third time. He recasts Tatiova. In response, Clay casts Red Elemental Blast, countering Tatiova. Ephon sighs a bit and then plays an island. Ephon passes the turn. Clay draws and casts Sleight of Hand. He looks at the top two, puts one into his hand, and one on the bottom. Clay passes. At the end of Clay's turn, Ryan cycles Kroos and Tusker. He fetches up a forest into his hand. Also in the instep, Ryan casts Ghastly Demise, targeting Ghost of Ramirez. Witherbloom triggers and drains for one. Then Ghost dies and Ryan moves to his turn. Ryan draws and plays a forest. He moves to combat and attacks Ephon with Witherbloom. Ephon takes it and Ryan passes. At the end of Ryan's turn, Elora activates Relic of Progenitus, exiling Sleight of Hand from her graveyard and creating a tapped 2-2 zombie through Tormod. Elora draws and plays an island. She casts an Ornithopter of Paradise. She moves to combat and attacks Clay with Tormod and Ephon with the zombie. Both take it and in her second main phase, Elora recasts Ghost of Ramirez. Elora passes. Ephon draws and surprises no one by recasting his commander, Tatiova. He plays an Esper Panorama. Tatiova triggers and, in response, Ryan casts Spinning Darkness, exiling the top three black cards from his graveyard as an additional cost. Witherbloom triggers and drains for one. In response, Ephon cracks his Esper Panorama. He fetches up an island onto the battlefield. Tatiova triggers, Ephon gains a life and draws a card. With Spinning Darkness still on the stack, Ephon casts Vines of Vastwood, targeting his Tatiova. Vines resolves, Darkness fizzles, and then the original Tatiova trigger resolves. Ephon gains a life and draws a card. With nothing else and its commander finally on the battlefield, Ephon passes the clay. 
Clay draws and casts his commander, Crackling Drake. It enters and Clay draws a card. Clay passes. At the end of Clay's turn, Ryan casts Sprout Swarm with buyback. Witherbloom triggers and drains for one. Then Ryan creates a 1-1 Sapperling and Sprout Swarm returns to his hand. He casts it again, creating a Sapperling, returning it to his hand, and Witherbloom drains for one again. Ryan moves to his turn. Ryan draws and plays a Swamp. He casts my mother's favorite nickname for me as a child, Crushing Disappointment. <laughs> Witherbloom triggers and drains for one. Then each player loses two life and Ryan draws two cards. Ryan casts Obnixilus' Cruelty, targeting Tatiova. Witherbloom triggers and drains for one. Tatiova dies, again, and Ryan moves to combat. He attacks Ephon with his Witherbloom and two Sapperlings. Ephon takes it, and Ryan passes the turn. At the end of Ryan's turn, Elora activates Relic of Progenitus, exiling Brainstorm from her graveyard. Tormod triggers, and she creates a tapped 2-2 zombie. Elora draws and plays an island. She moves to combat and attacks Ryan with everything. Ryan declares no blocks, and in response, Elora cycles Lonely Sandbar, drawing a card. Then Ryan takes it, Ghost triggers, and Elora returns Lonely Sandbar to her hand. Tormod triggers, and she creates a tapped 2-2 zombie. In her second main phase, she casts Frogify, targeting Witherbloom Apprentice. Witherbloom becomes Frog, and Elora follows it up with a Nihil Spellbomb. Elora passes the turn. Ephon draws and starts off his turn by casting High Tide. It resolves, and Ephon follows it up with a Peregrine Drake. It enters, and with the trigger on the stack, Elora casts Impulse. She looks at the top four, puts one into her hand, and the rest on the bottom. Then Ephon untaps five lands through Peregrine. He recasts his commander, Tatiova. He plays a Jun Panorama. Tatiova triggers, and in response, Elora casts Mystical Teaching. She fetches up a Ghastly Demise into her hand. Then Ephon gains a life and draws a card. He casts Rampant Growth. He fetches up an island onto the battlefield. Tatiova triggers, he gains a life, and draws a card. He casts Scrivener. It enters, and Ephon targets High Tide in his graveyard. In response, Elora cracks her spell bomb, exiling Ephon's graveyard. Scrivener's ability fizzles, and Ephon follows it up by transmuting Drift of Phantasms. He fetches up a ghostly flicker into his hand. Ephon ends his turn. At the end of Ephon's turn, Ryan casts Return to Nature, destroying Frogify. Clay draws and casts Tormod's Crypt. Ephon sighs, and Clay moves to combat. He attacks Ryan with Crackling Drake. Ryan takes 8, and Clay passes the turn. Ryan draws and casts Marauding Blight Priest. He casts Siphon Mine. Witherbloom triggers and drains for 1. Blight Priest triggers, and each opponent loses another 1. Then each opponent discards a card, and Ryan draws 3. He plays a Gingerbread Cabin for turn. It enters untapped, and Ryan creates a food. He moves to combat and attacks Clay with Witherbloom and 2 Sapperlings. In response, Clay casts Heated Debate, targeting Witherbloom. In response, Ryan casts Sprouting Vines. The Storm ability triggers and Witherbloom's ability triggers. With the triggers on the stack, Elora casts Echoing Truth, targeting Witherbloom to prevent additional Witherbloom triggers from the Storm. Witherbloom bounces and with the other triggers still in the stack, Ephon casts Ghostly Flicker, targeting his Peregrine Drake and Mystic Sanctuary. Ghostly Flicker resolves and Ephon exiles and returns Peregrine Drake and Mystic Sanctuary to the battlefield. Peregrine untaps 5 lands, Mystic Sanctuary enters untapped, targeting Ghostly Flicker in the graveyard, and Tatiova triggers. The table realizes this is an infinite loop. So in response, Elora taps her Relic of Progenitus, exiling Lonely Sandbar from her graveyard, creating a tapped 2-2 zombie through Tormod. She then sacrifices Relic of Progenitus, exiling all graveyards, drawing a card, and creating another tapped 2-2 zombie from Tormod. Then Mystic Sanctuary fizzles, then Tatiova's trigger resolves, Ephon gains a life and draws a card. Witherbloom's ability resolves, drains for one, then Marauding Blight Priest triggers and drains each opponent for an additional one. Then Sprouting Vine's Storm Trigger resolves and creates three additional copies. Ryan fetches up two swamps and two forests into his hand. Then Clay takes two from the attacking Sapperlings. Yes, we were in combat when that all happened. <laughs> With nothing else, Ryan passes the turn, discarding to hand size. Alora draws and starts off her turn by transmuting Dizzy Spell. She fetches up a Spell Pierce into her hand. She moves to combat and attacks Ephon with Ghost of Ramirez and Ryan with four zombies. Before blockers, Elora casts Ghastly Demise, targeting Scrivener. In response, Ephon casts Counterspell, targeting Demise. In response, Elora casts Negate, targeting Counterspell. Negate counters Counterspell, and Ghastly Demise destroys Scrivener. Both then declare no blocks, and before damage, Ephon casts Into the Royal, targeting Ghost of Ramirez. In response, Elora casts Spell Pierce, targeting into the Royal. It resolves, Ephon pays 2, and then Ghost of Ramirez bounces back to Elora's hand. 
Then Ryan takes 8 from the zombies. All through, Elora passes the turn. Ifon draws and cracks his Jun panorama. He fetches up a forest onto the battlefield. Tatioba triggers, he gains a life and draws a card. He casts 3 visits. He fetches up another forest onto the battlefield. Tatioba triggers, he gains a life and draws a card. He casts Harrow, sacrificing an island as an additional cost. He fetches up 2 forests onto the battlefield. Tatiova triggers twice. He gains a life and draws a card. With the second ability still on the stack, he casts Brainstorm. He draws three and puts two back on top. Then the second trigger resolves, he gains a life and draws a card. He casts Far Wanderings with Threshold. He fetches up two forests and an island onto the battlefield tapped. Tatiova triggers three times, Ifon gains three life and draws three cards. He delves away some of his graveyard to cast Treasure Cruise, drawing three cards. He plays an island for turn. Tatiova triggers, he gains a life and draws a card. He casts Sky Shroud Claim. He fetches up two forests onto the battlefield. Tatiova triggers twice, and he gains two life and draws two cards. He casts Lignify, targeting Tormod the Desecrator. Tormod becomes a tree folk, and finally through, Evon ends his turn, discarding to hand size. Clay draws and plays a snow covered mountain. He transmutes Drift of Phantasms. He fetches up a fiery cannonade into his hand. He moves to combat and attacks Ryan with Crackling Drake. Ryan takes it and dies. Clay passes the turn. Elora draws and casts Dehada's Ploy. She draws two and discards one, then gains one life. She transmutes to Mere Infiltrator. She fetches up an Into the Royal into her hand. She moves to combat and attacks Ifon with her zombies. Ifon blocks two with the Paragon Drake and Tatioba and takes the rest. With nothing else, Elora passes. Ifon draws and plays an island. Tatiova triggers, he gains a life and draws a card. He casts Explore, drawing a card. He casts Ponder. He looks at the top three, doesn't like what he sees, shuffles and draws. He plays an island as his Explore land for turn. Tatiova triggers, he gains a life and draws a card. He casts Cultivate. He fetches up an island onto the battlefield tapped and a forest into his hand. Tatiova triggers, he gains a life and draws a card. He casts Kodama's Reach. He fetches up a forest onto the battlefield tapped and an island into his hand. He gains a life and draws through Tatiova. He casts Vanishing, targeting Crackling Drake. He casts Broken Bond, targeting Tormod's Crypt. In response, Clay cracks his Tormod's Crypt, exiling Ephon's Graveyard. He casts Merchant Scroll. He fetches up a Tidal Boar into his hand. He casts Mnemonic Wall. It enters, and Ephon returns Merchant Scroll to his hand. All through, Ephon passes. At the end of Ephon's turn, Elora casts Into the Royal, targeting Vanishing to force Ephon to use it to save herself on her own turn. In response, Ephon activates Vanishing, phasing out the Drake. Then Ephon discards the hand size. Clay draws and transmutes Dizzy Spell. He fetches up a Relic of Progenitus into his hand. He casts Relic of Progenitus. Clay passes. At the end of Clay's turn, Elora jumpstarts to Hada's Ploy, discarding a card as an additional cost. She draws two, discards one, then gains two life. Then the turn moves to Elora. Elora draws and casts Oubliette, targeting Tatiova. In response, Ifon returns an island and Mystic Sanctuary to his hand to cast Gush, looking for an answer. He draws two, doesn't find an answer, and Oubliette resolves. Tatiova phases out, and Elora passes the turn. Ifon draws and casts Merchant Scroll. He fetches up a Capsize into his hand. He casts Sleight of Hand. He looks at the top two, puts one into his hand and the other on the bottom. He activates Vanishing, phasing out Crackling Drake. He moves to combat and attacks Clay with Peregrine Drake. In response, Clay casts Lightning Bolt, targeting the Drake. In response, Ephon casts Intervene, targeting Lightning Bolt. Lightning Bolt is countered, and Clay takes the hit from the Drake. In his second main phase, Ephon casts Secure Tribe Scout. He plays an island for turn. He passes, discarding the hand size. Clay draws, takes no actions, and passes the turn. Elora draws and starts off by casting Deep Analysis, drawing two cards. She flashes back Deep Analysis from her graveyard, paying three life, and drawing two more cards. She plays an island for turn. She casts Nightscape Familiar. Elora passes. At the end of Elora's turn, Ifon casts Capsize with Buyback, targeting Oubliette. In response, Clay casts Flash Counter, targeting Capsize. In response, Ifon casts Dispel, targeting Flash Counter. In response, Elora casts Muddle the Mixture, targeting Capsize. With nothing else, Muddle counters Capsize and Dispel counters Flash Counter. The turn moves to Ephon. Ephon draws and plays a Mystic Sanctuary for turn. It enters untapped, targeting Capsize in his graveyard. In response, Clay cracks his Relic of Progenitus, exiling all graveyards and drawing a card. Then Sanctuary's ability fizzles. He activates Vanishing, phasing out Crackling Drake. 
He moves to combat and attacks Clay with Peregrine Drake. Clay takes it and dies. In his second main phase, Ephon casts a relic of Progenitus of his own. Ephon passes the turn. Elora draws and casts Jataxian Probe, targeting Ephon. She looks at Ephon's hand and draws a card. She recasts her commander, Ghost of Ramirez. She casts a Star Compass and a Blade Tapped. She attacks Ephon with two of her zombies. In response, Ephon casts Crop Rotation, sacrificing a forest as an additional cost. He fetches up a Terramorphic Expanse onto the battlefield. He cracks it and fetches up an island onto the battlefield tapped. He then blocks one of the zombies with his mnemonic wall and takes the rest. Elora passes the turn. At the end of Elora's turn, Ephon activates Secure Tribe Scout, putting an island onto the battlefield. Ephon draws and plays an Evolving Wilds. He moves to combat and attacks Elora with his Drake. Elora takes it and Ephon passes the turn. Elora draws and casts Merchant Scroll. In response, Ephon casts Tidalbore for its alternate cost, returning Mystic Sanctuary to his hand, untapping his Peregrine Drake. Then Scroll resolves, and Elora fetches up an Agony Warp into her hand. She moves the combat and attacks Ephon with everything. In response, Ephon casts Moments Peace, preventing all combat damage dealt this turn. With nothing else, Elora passes. Ephon draws and casts Eureka Moment, drawing two cards. He casts Alanawar Scout. He moves the combat and attacks Elora with the Drake. Elora blocks with Ornithopter of Paradise. Ephon ends his turn. Elora draws and moves to combat. She attacks Ephon with everything. Ephon blocks Nightscape with his Lanawar Scout and a zombie with his Mnemonic Wall. In response, Elora casts Agony Warp, giving Lanawar Scout minus O minus 3 and giving Secure Tribe Scout minus 3 minus O. Lanawar Scout dies and before damage, Ephon flashes back Moments Peace, preventing all combat damage. Elora passes the turn. At the end of Elora's turn, Ephon activates Relic of Progenitus targeting Elora. She exiles Merchant Scroll. Also in the end step, Ephon activates Secure Tribe Scout, putting Mystic Sanctuary onto the battlefield. Mystic Sanctuary enters untapped, triggers, and targets Tidal Boar in his graveyard. In response, Elora casts Coffin Purge, targeting Tidal Boar. In response, Ephon casts Memory Lapse, targeting Coffin Purge. Coffin Purge is countered and put onto the top of Elora's library. With Mystic Sanctuary still on the stack, Elora activates Fairy Macabre, discarding it from her hand, targeting Tidal Boar and Memory Lapse in the graveyard. Both are exiled and Mystic Sanctuary fizzles. Ephon then moves to his turn. Ephon draws and casts Preordain. He scries two and draws. He casts Impulse. He looks at the top four, puts one into his hand, and then the rest on the bottom. Ephon passes. Elora draws and moves to combat. She attacks with everything. Ephon blocks two zombies with his Drake and Mnemonic Wall. He takes the rest and Elora ends her turn. At the end of Elora's turn, Ephon activates Relic of Progenitus. Elora exiles Ornithopter of Paradise from her graveyard. Ephon draws and starts off his turn by casting Boomerang, targeting Oubliette. Oubliette bounces and Ephon casts Spoils of Victory. He fetches up a Rhymewood Falls onto the battlefield. Tatiova triggers, Ephon gains a life and draws a card. He casts Archaeomancer. It enters and Ephon returns Eureka Moment to his hand. He casts Eureka Moment. He draws two cards and puts Bant Panorama onto the battlefield. He gains a life and draws through Tatiova. He casts Walking Atlas. He moves to combat and attacks Elora with Peregrine Drake. Elora takes it and Ephon passes the turn. Elora draws and recasts Oubliette targeting Tatiova again. She casts Blink of an Eye, Kicked, targeting her own Tormod the Desecrator. Tormod bounces and she draws a card. She plays a Swamp for turn. She recasts Tormod the Desecrator. She moves to combat and attacks Ephon with everything. Ephon double blocks Ghost of Ramirez with both Walking Atlas and Archaeomancer and then blocks a zombie with Mnemonic Wall. Ephon takes the rest and Ghost and Walking Atlas both die. Elora passes the turn. Ephon draws and casts Sky Shroud Ranger. He moves to combat and attacks Elora with his Drake. Elora takes it and Ephon passes the turn. Elora draws and recasts her commander, Ghost of Ramirez. She moves to combat and attacks with everything. Ephon blocks Tormod with a Sky Shroud Ranger, a zombie with Mnemonic Wall, and Nightscape Familiar with the Archaeomancer. Elora regenerates Nightscape Familiar, and then Elora passes the turn. At the end of Elora's turn, Ephon activates Relic of Progenitus, exiling a card from Elora's graveyard. Tormod triggers, which Ephon forgot about, and Elora creates a tapped 2 2 zombie. The turn then moves to Ephon. Ephon draws and moves to combat. He attacks Elora with the Drake. Elora takes it, and Ephon passes the turn. Elora draws and moves to combat. She attacks Ephon with everything. Ephon blocks Tormod with his Mnemonic Wall and Nightscape Familiar with his Archaeomancer. Elora regenerates Nightscape and Ephon takes the rest. Elora passes the turn. Ephon draws and casts Jataxian Probe, targeting Elora. 
In response, Elora casts Lose Focus, targeting Jataxian Probe. It resolves, and Ephon pays too. With Jataxian Probe still on the stack, Elora casts Coffin Purge, exiling Boomerang from Ephon's graveyard. She then flashes back Coffin Purge, exiling Vanishing from Ephon's graveyard. Coffin Purge exiles and Tormod triggers, creating a tapped 2 2 zombie. Ephon then looks at Elora's hand and draws a card. He moves to combat and attacks Elora with everything, killing her and winning the game. Ladies and gentlemen, what a game. Congrats to Ephon on his very hard fought win. He did a great job of sticking in there and persevering through all the interaction his opponents had, which was a very surprising amount. Tatiova is quite a powerhouse at regular EDH and CEDH tables. She is proving that she can be powerful at just about any table she battles. This format surprised us quite a bit with all the removal packed into a lot of these decks. Admittedly, we had some biases going into this match. They were quickly put to rest once we saw just how powerful this format can be. We highly recommend that you check out the links in the description to get started in this very cool format. It is affordable and a blast to play. Well, that about wraps it up for this episode. Tune in next time when we do get out to see who will be king of the competitive EDH table. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time. All right, everyone, time for Patreon shoutouts. I'd like to give a shout out to Gabriel Adams, Thomas Thurber, Carrie, Noah Criswell, Mario Acevedo, Nod Noodle, Nicholas Tatum, Anton Oberg, Tom Spackman, Ryan Wright, Votto Von Trapp, Otto Von Trapp, Ivan Frapperl, Connor Holtz, Nathan Smith, Willow Lysander, Pyro, Dark, Mr. Doc. Prof. Swaggy Pants the Third, Philip Hickey, Jacob Cromer, Brad Tobin, Matt Wingrove, Delph Driz, Chad Hendricks, Dante, Christian L. Sutphen, Ryan Brower, Rune, Rakeko, Michael Hallett, Paul M. Toll, Quick Draw, Zods, James Cody Halley, Spencer Raborn, Spielrahu, CZ, Taylor Cohen, Darius Mitchell, King O Sharks, Nick, Liam, Caleb Pretty, Tauntaun101, Jacob Simpson, and Thomas Bowers. Thank you all very much.